kiss for you. Yo guys, what's going on? Zenify here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some awesome extrusions that are smooth and also automatic. So it works as two in one. You can get the automatic uh, extrusions done and also you can get some pretty awesome cool sort of curved edges to make it just look that bit better and smooth is in style at the moment hence I'm also going to be showing you how to make the hair look a bit like this with the curves and as you can see on the render here it looks a lot better so I'm going to be showing you how you can turn this simple rig here with no of these tips and tactics that I'll be using in this video compared to this which is what I have done and made using the tactics in this video so as you can see there's a huge difference in you know the head so if I go here and paste this one in if I just quickly grab the head here and bring it over here you can see that there is a huge difference between you know the two so I've added an FFD and the automatic extrusion method on the little balaclava here and also on the hair I've used the smooth uh, subdivision uh, extrusions so this is what you can turn uh, or make and also I'm using an edit if you guys want it this is Jinx's edit I've also edited it further and especially in this one I've edited it to have my own sort of smooth extrusions again so yeah I'm not going to be releasing like the ones with the anime pupils they're not mine they are by um, Nero Graphics, I'll leave a link to the cell fight of his rig in the description and all I've done is merged them and I did my own you know, extrusion method um, before we start I just want to say a huge thanks to Flash Designs for showing me how to do this um, or at least accidentally showing me how to do this I guess but he's cool with it um, basically he just recently released a jacket rig which I'll highly recommend you check, recommend you check out you can get again these awesome extrusions and also this sort of jacket which is pretty cool and extremely in fashion at the moment so if you don't want to be left behind you want to get with the times and get this awesome jacket rig and in that jacket rig I found the key to this smooth extrusion so once you put your rig you want to choose what you you know want to give that automatic extrusion so again I'm gonna start on the head so I'm just gonna select the mesh of the head here by going into the head, dropping it down and getting the mesh hat. Now I want a separate layer for the hair and the bandana because they're two different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one over here. Like so. I'm going to remove everything but the bandana. So let's just highlight the bandana. And I believe there's some underneath. like so and I'm just going to select invert it and that selects everything that you uh, didn't select and there we go we should be good now yeah so at this time I'm going to put it back where it belongs which is parented under the head here there we go and on this one because obviously I don't want two I'm going to select this and then remove everything that I don't want that being the balaclava I've turned on snapping by accident there we go so now I'm going to select this do this again like so and I'm just going to delete that now this isn't a necessity I don't believe but to get proper extrusions you probably already know you need to make sure that it is just the hair that's left so I'm gonna quickly just select all the hair uh, pixels and just leave the blank bits uh, to be deleted there we go so if I click select and then invert it again make sure none of the hair is selected it looks really good and now I'm just going to put them back in their normal place 
there and here. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to do this just for my own sake. I want to name the bandana, bandana, and then the mesh hat, the hair. Because we're going to use two different methods of extrusion on this bit. Alright, so in the description, I'll leave a um, lib4d file to something just with the jacket cloth here. And these settings were all given to me by Flash. Uh, flash designs on the jacket rig. Just needed to unlock the layer and just look at it. Uh, so I'm going to select the bit that I want to uh, extrude again. I'm just going to, I'm going to first will duplicate the jacket cloth just so I don't lose it. Select it and I'm just going to find it. So as I said I want to put it on the, I think it was the hair first. Yeah I'm going to put it on the hair. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the hair, the, I'm just going to make the jacket cloth the parent of hair. Uh, no, actually, I wanted to put them on bandana. So all you want to go and all you're going to want to do is just make the jacket cloth, as you can see here, the parent of the bandana. And instantly, you can see that we've got this automatically extruded for us, and we can change the size of the extrusion by using the thickness. So we can make it come all the way out here. But you know, I'm not too sure anyone would have a bandana uh, that takes up pretty much four times the size of their body, but. I think that is literally the perfect size. I might just amp it up to what? Let's go with like a 3.5 maybe. Just amp it up a bit more, just so it stands out. And now for the next part, once you've done this, you can change these subdivisions if you really want to. Um, just make it a bit more smooth and stuff. Uh, but I don't really want to lag out my Cinema 4D. You can change the factor, which changes how like bulgy it is, as you can see here. Um, but we're not going to do any of that. I'm just going to change the thickness like so. But as you can see, we still haven't got the sort of movement of it. This sort of where, bit where it droops down here. And all you want to do to fix that is just get a FFD by, press, by pressing and holding the um, little bend icon here. And just get all of the effects. Now we're going to use the FFD. Once you've got once you've got the FFD in your editor and you can see this little blue box here, you're just going to want to put it underneath the actual uh, null object of the bandana. So now we've done that, I want to click fit to parent just so I don't have to faff around with all of that. And just for the sake of you know extrusion and trying to move it around, I'd recommend turning it off uh, by clicking the little X here, just so you can uh, properly extrude it and you can see what you're, what you're pressing a bit more easy. I'm just going to change the grid points up a bit because that allows you to have more sort of flexibility and to move the FFD you're just going to want to hit the point, uh, point selection tool and then we're just going to have to find the points that we want to move down so I'm going to move this one down a bit, I'm going to turn off my um, my, con my quantizing, I'm just going to move that down so it's got like a little dip there, move that up so yeah, this is really depending on what you, you have, because you don't have to do this if you do just want it like um, without the FFD, and you do just want it like that, or say you're, you've are you got like a hoodie and you don't want to make it loop down or anything, that's perfectly alright. This works with hoodies as well, by the way, or any sort of second layer of clothing, or, or even hair, as you saw there, because of how it's sort of randomly placed the hair is, it didn't work too well and we get some little sort of dips and cuts which I'm pretty sure you can fix uh, but I'm not too sure how. But yeah I'm just going to continue moving this on and around quickly just so I'm just just so it looks like it, an actual bandana because obviously an actual bandana doesn't just hit doesn't doesn't just sit circularly on your head it's got a bit of curvature to it in some places And right now it's sort of in style to make it as photorealistic as you can, hence the smooth sort of hair, which I'll show you how to do a bit later on in this video. I personally don't really like the super smooth circular hair, um, but you know, it's sort of in style at the moment. So I've just got to do what i got to do, which is why mine is quite uh, square, but I can show you, I'll show you in this tutorial as well how to get it like literally circular but I don't really like that and it doesn't really look 
too good in my opinion but it is all opinionated so now that I've dipped some bits down and moved some bits up I'm just gonna make this go back into how it looked like in the render and as you can see here we've got the nice little dips I'm just gonna make this uh, FFD object red in here so I can't see the blue sort of box in the editor here now this uh, tutorial if you're doing this and you don't have a very good computer I should have said this a bit earlier in the video but if you want to get the circle extru extrusion you need to mess around with subdivisions and a few for example like laptops like bad laptops could might not be able to handle this um, so you might have to lower the subdivision meaning that it might not be as circular as you want it to be but I've got a pretty decent computer and it can render it fine so I'm just going to show you how to do the next bit so this is my way of doing it. I'm sure a guy, I'm sure people or designers who are a lot more experienced will do this a different way. But this is the way that I found out, and the way that I personally find, you know, the easiest. So I'll, all you want to do is you're going to want to click uh, on the subdivision surface icon and hold it, and select subdivision surface. It will uh, appear in your objects column here, and we're just going to want to do what we did with the jacket cloth and make it become a parent of the hair so as you can see now it does look it is automatically circular but you know it doesn't actually look the best in my opinion again we want to get some extrusions and such like so all you want to do to it is druid as i'm sure all of you already know you're just going to the polygon selection tool and because I already moved the uh, the empty pixels before, it just made it really easy for me. I can just change the maximum angle and change the hair, for example, to a two. If I want to go like crazy on the extrusions, I can make it like a like that sort of like an afro almost. But for the most part, I'm just going to make it like a like a nice little two point four. And I'm not going to go too in depth with like the quality extrusions like you know adding more depth but if you want to by all means do so but just for the sake of the tutorial just for the sake of the tutorial and time saving I'm not going to do that so as you can see we already have some really nice smooth hair um, but as I said if you render it out um, it you know it's quite circular if you want it like that that's fine um, but some people don't and it looks too circular so all you're gonna do is hit the hair null object again do control A to select all of it and press MR on your keyboard together like that so MR we're just gonna move the uh, your mouse here to the right a bit and that as you can see uh, changes how heavy the subdivision is set so I usually go to the very end and then move it down a bit and as soon as you see like the sort of nice sort of curve starting to form that's where I leave it. So as you can see here we've got it more square, I'll do a comparison by doing Ctrl Z in a minute. But yeah so look how square that is and again in the render, uh, in the editor sorry, it does look a bit rough but to change that just click on the subdivision surface and you can you know make it how it would look like in the renderer I usually make it 4 and 4 as you can see we've got a really nice sort of smooth edge here so as you can see it is very it's a lot more square like than this right here that's obviously like a that's a just the complete circle so I like it and a lot of other people like it a lot more smooth like so but as you can see it's sort of coming out from the from the hair and again you can use FFD or a tapper or bulge or whatever I'm just going to use uh, I'm just going to use a tapper I think and just connect it up a bit more so it just looks that bit better again we're just going to want to make the tapper the parent of hair or of hair the parent of tapper sorry and we're just going to bring it in a bit more again this is completely up to you it's optional and again I'm just going to turn it off so I can't see it in the editor and as you can see it sort of looks a bit more connected and again you can use FFD to move it up a bit more like I've done so on this I've used the FFD to move it up in certain bits like here for example and you know I've made it look sort of 
bit more extruded and still pulled out there etc and yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial if you do want any more tutorials tell me what you would like to know and I will m perhaps make a tutorial in the future but as you can see we have made it look from you know the very blocky sort of minecraft feel simplistic rig to nice and smooth and it just generally looks a lot nicer so yeah that is all for this tutorial I hope you have all enjoyed be sure to leave a like if you did and I'll see you all in the next time peace out guys